We did it. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. Finally made it. The bastard. Nice Sorry about that. Every up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I uh, did not realize how late it was. <laughs> yeah, classic. It's fine. You know what? He's only 15 minutes late. That's actually should be considered a victory. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I was like a good like eight, nine minutes late myself, I think. So <laughs> mainly because yeah. I was hanging out with Pops. He ordered some new pedals. And I was talking to him about that and showing oh, off yeah? the, uh, the cello. Yeah. Uh, what kind of pedals? Uh, um, one is an acoustic preamp, and the other one was a chorus and reverb. Uh, multi effects pedal for uh, acoustic as well. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Yeah, yeah they look cool. Pretty cheap, so that's nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, Can't that's always nice. That. Pedals get so expensive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're pretty quiet. I don't know if you're far from the mic or something. Check, I, check his I, volume on your end. <laughs> I did. I, that was the first thing I did this time. It's fully yeah. blasted. All right. Well, I guess I can crank it up a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, you can. Damn it. Yeah, I had him at uh, nearly 200% as well, so apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Jeremy trick, because he uses a, a dynamic and then moves away from it, and then you can't hear shit, because yeah. he wants to use a speaker. I was talking directly into it this time, though, so I don't know. That's kind of uh, weird. That is weird, okay. I pushed it up to Unity. Is that good, mm. or do I need to crank the gain? That's pretty good, I guess. All right, cool. <laughs> Sounds good on my end, yeah. I can always bump it up in post, but I can hear you enough to respond. That's the important part. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Plus, nobody really needs to know Jeremy's opinions. I mean, that's pretty fair. Dang. It's like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You surprised how many years we've been doing this? <laughs> uh, yeah, you would think we'd I have, mean... like, more than 10 for how many years we've been doing this. Do we have more than five? I think we like have two. Yeah. I think That's, we're at like that we eight? actually have the files I think for? this is episode eight. Oh my god. I think so. I don't freaking remember. <laughs> is that including the missing file? Including the missing one, yes. This oh, okay. is literally number eight, period. Okay. Because it's just number two that's missing. The rest of it's all up. The last <laughs> episode. So, yeah, over five oh. years, eight, that's not awful. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's more it's than really one a five year years. for the most part. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the first one I definitely know happened, we recorded at uh, Sean's Oh, yeah, office. that was in person at Sean's, yeah. Uh, number one and number two were both recorded there, I remember that. That's yep. right. Bringing the whole setup like up the stairs was fun. Oh, yeah. It was a very different setup back then. Oh my god, it was. Well, we recorded into Reason for that one, too. Oh, that's super it sure weird. sure did. <laughs> this is so much more convenient, honestly. Thank you, Craigbot. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is episode 8, guys. Um, got a few topics that I've prepared ahead of time for this. Uh-oh. Uh, they're, they're, they're good ones. I'm interested to see what Eddie has to say. Um, Nobody cares I don't think what... You've, I know you've played one of the games, but I don't think you've played the other one at all, so... Okay. <laughs> also, everybody cares what I think, or I wouldn't have a podcast, duh. No, I was saying, I was saying, uh, Jeremy. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, nobody cares. That's the, the podcast, like, slogan. Nobody cares what Jeremy has to say, his, his opinion, something, whatever you're feeling. Ostensibly, like. yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a paraphrasable, uh, slogan. It's fine. Uh, so, before we get into the nitty-gritty of my bullshit, you guys got anything you're just dying to talk about? Power Washing Simulator. Oh, cool, yeah. Duh, I've been uh, talking to Joey a little bit about it. Go on. Uh, tell me your, your bit. Basically, you just zone out and you power wash. Yeah, sounds very zen. I I, I have I literally blew through the game in one day, and I can't imagine to figure out why. <laughs> Damn. That's crazy. Yes. Was it got any like repl replayability? Like, yeah, I'd go zen out again. I mean, you could go and zen out on the same maps again if you want. Yeah. But you just yeah, what, bored same yeah I mean, yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> not. Yeah, it's not going to impress you. The, the whole thing is pretty much identical all the time. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's not like it's a multiplayer shooter where ninety percent of what changes in the game is people's like 
choices and stuff so it's literally just power washing still but i mean you don't have to be out in the hot sun to power wash so that sounds pretty lit yep and you don't have all the vibration and you don't you don't have to worry about changing the gas or you know, yeah, nature show. Ah. wasting water you know it's for exactly. a better future Jeez. how much is that running Oh god, I think it was like fifteen bucks, something like that. Yeah, it and then like, it was like five buck like DLC packs or something, if I remember correctly. And there's like, was like, even. I don't think there's any DLC at all now. Are you sure? I swear there was DLC for okay. that game. Maybe I'm losing it. Mm, you're making me look. Okay, it was nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> no DLC. Oh, okay. Weird. Why did I think there was DLC? Maybe that was a different. I mean, game. it's early access, so it's still like they're still adding stuff. Like they just added another. Oh you know, like, no, I'm thinking things. of. I'm thinking a house flipper, another game that Joe ah. is playing. That's, I think, what it is. All right, yeah, I'll have to check that out. Shit. Oh, shit. I love yeah, those little fucking... house flipping game. Yeah, mm-hmm. you go and clean up, make things look pretty. I don't know the full extent of it. You'd have to ask Joey on that one. Interesting. Yeah, I had Nex who played it a lot. It was like one of her favorite games. All right, so yeah, I mean, it seems like a fun ass game, but it really does. But like. I don't know. I have so many <laughs> games I have to play. <laughs> like, I just started a series, and this is relevant to my topic in a little bit. We'll get to that. Um, I just started a series, and I haven't even beaten the first game. I'm, like, at the end of it, but it's a bitch. And there's, like, at least four or five more games in the series. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. Oh. Uh, We've been playing a bunch of Seven Days to Die lately. That's been a lot of fun. Yeah, that's yeah, you yeah. too and Joey, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're always welcome to join up, too, if you wanted to. I'm playing a lot of Valheim instead. Um, I, got a, I got a friend who, who does Valheim. We, we've actually been enjoying that a lot. Have you been playing since it like first came out? or? No, probably the last two months. Okay. So, like, one of the players is on vacation right now, so we're just kind of hanging out because we all want to kind of progress together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's going to take a break every now and again. Yeah. And then there's going to be a huge update that adds a shit ton of uh, new, uh, you know, like building, you know, building parts, things like that, recipes, redoing everything. That's middle of September, supposed to be. So nice. So it's still early access, I take it, or I don't know. I think it is because it's still cheap too doing the uh no man's sky thing and just adding the rest of the game afterwards or destiny i guess was the yeah first they're still calling it early access <laughs> okay well, well good at least on them. they're calling it that and they're selling yeah. it for cheaper because that's where no man's sky and destiny kind of had a little bit of struggles where that's like they sold up. it for like a full 60 dollars, and then you're just yeah. like bro this is like half a game at best yeah two three years later it's finally hitting its stride I mean, yeah. and the game's got a lot to it already. Yeah, you're not going to be, you know, fully in, but it's only seven months old. It came out in February. Mm, yeah. No. That's, well, that's, yeah, that's right. I keep forgetting it's still pretty new. Yeah, it's still and pretty it's, new. And there's already a lot to it. By the way, No Man's Sky is five years old at this oh, point. Oh, God. Just as a heads up. <laughs> yeah, but they, did you hear about the new update? Uh, like yeah, tears update like settlements and stuff. Yeah, that looks yeah, it seems good. like they're really expanding that now, so that's kind of cool. I was they're, they're getting to the point where, day. like, <laughs> they're gonna get to the point in like 20, 2050 where they're still gonna have yearly updates, so then it's gonna be oh, like, yeah. the best game of all time by that. Point. Yeah, it's gonna be what's that? So. What's that big space simulator game that was like one of the first big like Kickstarter things? Oh, uh, Star Citizen. Yeah, it's going to be like Star Citizen in 2050, and Star Citizen's still going to have like three of its like 50 modules done. Yeah, and and, and whereas <laughs> No Man's Sky will be like a perfect AI life simulator. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're going to jack into it and fucking live an alternate life, you know? Yeah, like that. really. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that, and it's fun. Me too, it's although I, I feel like I'm definitely going to get lost. I mean, I'm already getting lost in the game now, like can't imagine yeah. where it's gonna be then yeah but aren't we all lost in life too yeah no oh okay well <laughs> i guess i'm just an idiot <laughs> i mean i'm glad you finally figured it out yeah so that's uh that, that brings me back to seven days to die too though it's a fucking mm-hmm. what was it eight year old alpha <laughs> no, it's they're eight still years up- old yeah it's old as fuck it might be seven actually but it's it's either I way mean, it's old 
That's just mind blowing. Yeah, like 2013, December of 2013. Yeah. Yeah. So eight, about eight years old, almost. That's crazy. I mean, old, it is it's older than No Man's Sky, but it's yeah. still an alpha. Yeah. I mean, as a point, it is only twenty five dollars. Yeah. Is relatively oh, yeah. Cheap. No, no, no. That's t- it's totally worth it. It's fun. Oh like, yeah. Well, I mean, it's come a long fucking way too. That's my biggest thing. Is when I first played it on PS4, it, it was it was. It was pretty cool, but like, ah, yeah, ah. but now it's like, I, it's at a point that I actually have a good, like a gameplay loop that I can get caught in and enjoy. I find projects to do, you know, it's, it's much more fun than it used to be. I think it was more challenging before and like not challenging in a fun way though. Like, like cheap. <laughs> like it's just, you're just like, I can't do anything. Fuck. Me. Like fucking green hell where it's literally the first like six hours of play in that game is learning all the different diseases and things to avoid and pulling leeches off of you and dying. So <laughs> yeah. That's a fun game though, once you start getting the hang of it especially. It's just so frustrating at first. Yeah, so you're saying it's just like a high learning curve game. Yeah, yeah. Green hell high learning curve at the beginning there. And I haven't even gotten to go out and do story stuff, and it's it's been a hot minute that we've worked on shit in that game. Yeah, Damn. I will say there's an element of that with 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 Valheim that you have to kind of figure out your stuff stuff your yourself too. It's not as brutal. It's difficult. I will say yeah. that there are especially parts, especially in the combat, that are very difficult. And there's areas you're just not going to be ready for until you've teched up a lot. Oh, okay. and it That's- isn't. It is not immediately obvious. <laughs> like the most the most dangerous uh most dangerous uh enemy so far in Valheim is a freaking mosquito. Oh shit. And it, and it's literally called a death mosquito because that thing will basically one shot you until you're probably about 3 quarters into the the tech tree. Jesus. And even then it just two shots you at that point. <laughs> I think it's not like super overly common. They're in specific biomes because it's it's very similar. It's got specific okay. biomes, but the biomes are very uh, what's it called? Random, and there's only like four biomes really to deal with. But yeah, th- but once you get past a certain point, it's like three. You know, like a quarter of all the biomes are those, and you just are gonna die. You go in there. Oh no! <laughs> oh, there's well, five biomes, but yeah. So yeah. So that's yeah, that's the thing. Seven days to die. I'm interested to see how the other biomes are because it used to start you in a random biome too, but now mm-hmm. it only starts you in grass, which is good because you could start in like the dead forest. I think it's called, and it's just fucking hell. There's nothing to get there. Like yeah, like, there's you, you can anything. like get lots of coal. Yeah, a ton of coal, but also a ton of death. So you know. yeah, there's there's really like and that, there's stone, but it's gonna take you fucking eight years just to get through the first one and make your first like axe to be able to do anything. Yeah. 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 Pain in the ass. But you know, it's the fun game. It's it's a weird thing. I feel like obviously like Minecraft kind of made the survival genre thing in the way it is like now. But like mm-hmm. uh I, I feel like I didn't play any survival games other than Minecraft for like years upon years. And then suddenly mm-hmm. I just started picking them up and I just can't stop picking them up. <laughs> they're just yeah. so fun. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty ubiquitous now. I mean, I remember State of Decay was a big one mm. back in the day. Oh, yeah. I love that That was that a game. pretty big name. Yeah, the H- H1Z1, Rust, I all those, that. you know. H1Z1. Yeah. I never got to play that one. Well, the problem with those are those are like online only like you go into a server mm-hmm. you have to use like a big server unless you make your own which then you're yeah. alone but like it's like it's, it's about it's it's almost not mmoe but it's a big multiplayer experience is the idea which is cool and all but like you get a lot of dickheads who like have been on the server for years and you just as soon as you walk two feet you're dead so it's like ah uh, yeah no at least I don't know with H one Z one. That's the the impression I get from what I've seen. But I I know that for a fact in Rust. I've experienced it myself. But yeah. So oh. I think Seven Days to Die, if I'm looking, is probably the big progenitor when it jumped and changed right then too. So. Oh, it looks like oh, we're yeah. getting Alpha it's... Twenty soon. Yeah.
his instead of like eight, but they're like combining stuff. I don't mm. know. It's super weird. But you're also gonna be able to change the something like that. I don't know. I only half read it, and then was like, "Oh, I gotta go back to work. Fuck this." That's. Fair. I mean, I can think of a couple of games that I'm like, hopefully we'll... we'll actually forget them. In Chronicles. <laughs> oh, is that this? Is that this year? That's uh, the, oh, 20 seconds coming out. This yeah, year, the right? first part I think is either I think it's early 2022. The like the pre game oh. thing. I'm not sure if I'm Oh, and then the other one is 2023. I think so. I remember they were like a year apart. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was 21, 22. Yeah. But... Aiden Chronicle That's... Rising, they have 2022. I am looking. Yeah. That's your but yeah. I am looking forward to it. Oh, yeah. That's going to be cool. Then Hunger. I'm just, it's weird that they're doing the two part thing, but it kind of reminds me of something else that we'll get to later. Ah. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too. So, okay, there's two games. Two games. Um, I guess I got to contribute a game. Probably. <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> ooh. Uh, did uh, did we say Dying Light two already? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. I haven't like the pandemic, yes, but it's also just I don't keep up with new new stuff coming out the way I used to. Just I'm like still in the same way. Like, just some of the games, a lot of the games just have not impressed me very much. Like, it's been copy paste bullshit again. Yeah, <laughs> again. Exactly. And yeah, it's the same broken, unfinished game releases from these big studios that want all your money with these fucking $180 fucking special limited edition packs with, you know, a statue and then this. And it's like, oh, come on, guys. Make a game yeah, that works. Just like, so look at all the merch. And it's like, but no, I'll but I want to play later the game. Like, if you make the game good. Yeah, it's make like the I, game good enough that I want the merch. Yeah. yeah. Not just, oh, this seems really cool when I read about it and watched it at E3. Yeah. It's like I saw, it was oh, funny, wait. they made um, Halo Infinite Rip. toys at, uh, at uh, I've seen them at Target, and like, they like, they went on clearance about two months ago. That game is still not out. So, like, oh my god! Wait, yeah. what? Their toys already were at our store for a while and then went on clearance. That's crazy to me. Like, like I can Why see did it they with... even release it before the game is out? Like, I, they probably got. They thought they were going to be able to make their deadline, and then didn't. Is my theory? Yeah. And they're like, "Well, we already worked with all these companies to make these toys. We just have to put them out." Yeah. Well, I, I think about this because, like, Halo, it kind of makes sense to have mm-hmm. toys and stuff because it's a yeah, it's very a, a large, series. very popular series. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, we're not so dealing children, with... makes sense. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, for Halo, really. Um, but but it makes sense to put out merchandising ahead of time. But if it's like a if it's like a series, nobody has anything to do with. Like I've that's true. It does have like you. Oh, I love Halo. I don't know if I'm gonna like uh, Infinite, but this is something I like already. So okay, that makes more sense too. I mean, think about it when you got Bioshock Infinite. You got the yeah. the collect the let the, the collect whatever. Limited edition thing because yeah, you wanted the... because I loved Bioshock. Yeah, that's fair. Because I also love really love that fucking Songbird statue. Yeah, that so Songbird like, statue is badass. But that game was finished. That game yeah. was solid. <laughs> so it's like you know worth it. Well, I mean, it, like, it does work at least. Finished. But I mean, I wouldn't have bought Different. Songbird like separately or like I wouldn't have bought Elizabeth or Booker like before playing that game. I guess. Yeah, I I can definitely see that. Like. Why? Why would you want to? You don't even know who the characters are. They have no meaning to you. Yeah, exactly. That's what always makes me laugh. Ah, oh, pretty good. I haven't bought a Nerf gun in a couple of weeks. You should be proud of me. <laughs> Jeez, you're going around buying Nerf guns. Huh? Oh, I got a, I got a decent little stash now. Oh, I, I think I, I think I'm in the double digits now. I think I got to that. You've probably still spent less than I have on Warhammer, so. <laughs> oh, guaranteed. Guaranteed. It. Dude, Nerf is way cheaper than you expect. I'm like, some of these, like, big badass ones are, like, 20 bucks tops. And I'm like, that's crazy. I've also gotten a lot on clearance. Yeah, I mean, where they clearance. get you is getting the fucking crates of, of ammo. 
Well, see, but that's why you just buy from like other people for cheaper. <laughs> oh, also, yeah, no, I've, I've seen it at like cheap places, like the more expensive elite, those little yellow balls. I've seen those fuckers up at um, what's that place called? Ollie's. It's like this like like Ross type thing where it's like the defects and like not in style or whatever bullshit. It's just like all that leftover overstock nonsense. And they just sell that, but it's not like clothes based. It's like you know like gardening stuff it's it's like a mini like target walmart type thing but with reject shit yeah i've heard people talking about it i've still never been there oh it's pretty sick i bought a couple of comics uh little comic things from there like i got uh Black they have Canary. comics there too yeah yeah the like uh the, like collection ones where it's like five or six issues in a thin little book or whatever and they're really oh, cheap dude, that's too. The way I to do it. maybe like five bucks for one which is nothing because it's marked like on the back it says 14.99 but they put a sticker five bucks let's do it oh yeah that's good shit yeah, definitely that's really the recommend it. checking it out i mean you're not gonna find like the most popular like the newest like things no of course i got a of couple course. harley quinn uh, collections from there too so that that was awesome at least, like, then you're more than likely going to get, like, a cohesive story. You're not just like, well, I found this one chapter. I never found any of the chapters after it or before yeah. it. So That was I... the hard part with fucking comics. Like, you have to go week to week or month to month, depending on the series, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you have to go buy that individual one. If you forget about it or, you know, you don't, you don't have broke. money or don't get a chance. Yeah, it's like, oh, that fucking sucks. Or it sells out and then, like, the local place closes down. Oh man. Yeah, that that was pretty much what killed me with comics was when our local shop closed down fucking Neutropolis. That place was lit. Yeah, <laughs> dude, that was that was the place. What's so funny is my business now has another has has a second location right there. Oh wait, really? Really? Yeah. Yep. Right there behind. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it's in the the back. Uh, oh, it's oh, the okay. back of it. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Let's check it out. That's much closer. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. I don't see any games I'm anticipating. I was I was checking my Steam wish list, and it was the the two that we've already said. Well, technically three, I guess, but whatever. Yeah, I think the things on my wish list are all like five years old or older. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I got a few of those too. I don't know. I don't go through my wish list very often. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, yeah. There is one thing that I'm anticipating, though, that I can think of off randomly now. Is um, It's not that random. And I guess it's a good segue. But um, they are in talks right now. Uh, there's negotiations happening. Uh, our boy Norman Readers and Kojima are talking about that Death Stranding 2. Oh, boy. Negotiations are happening, baby. I'm really surprised. That game... I feel like receives so much hate. So much. So much hate. But it's a good game, honestly. I really like it. Um, this is one of my big topics, obviously. <laughs> 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 so, um, a lot of what people say they don't like about it is very understandable. Um, there's a lot of hokiness to it that if you're not used to Kojima at all, it can be very, like, uh, okay... For instance, uh, some of the character names are a bit terrible. <laughs> so, let's see. So, the main character, his name is Sam Porter Bridges. He is a porter who goes around building bridges. Yeah. Ooh. That's uh, pretty on the nose. Oh, I'm just getting started. Uh, Guillermo del Toro's character, which I think is voiced by someone else. But they use uh, his likeness. Yeah, they, they did that for a couple people, I feel like. It's really weird, but I don't know. Um, his character is Dead Man. Mm -hmm. Not really. That that's that's an okay one. Not great. But my absolute favorite and one of the main main guys who wears a mask all the time, but then they're like, oh, it's this actor playing him. And it's like, but this is a mask. Okay, I get it. I get the mocap. It's fine. His name is Die Hard Man. <laughs> yes, I heard that one. Oh Die Dash God. Hard Man. Yes, a hundred percent. That's his name. Die Hard Man. I don't. I don't. I, I. Every time I hear it, it just it breaks it for me. <laughs> it's just like what? What the fuck? Come on. You couldn't so, think a better name, Kojima. 
So yeah, I, I mean, will... like, whoever, if it wasn't him directly, whoever actually thought of that name that wasn't him would need oh, to be fired like immediately. It's, it's probably Kojima, but it's, it's it probably was almost definitely Kojima. <laughs> but yeah, go on, Eddie. So I can counter with by far my least favorite name of all time. This comes from Warhammer. Uh oh. So in Warhammer, they have a group that are called the Space Marines. Inside the Space Marines, there's a bunch of different chapters. Mm-hmm. Um, and the 12 major chapter, uh, the 20 major chapters, they all had Primarchs, people that were basically their genetic seed. It's a whole big oh, thing. Okay, so they're kind of like cloned from like that seed? It kind of, that, they well. kind of import their seed into normal humans and it kind of messes with them a little bit. Oh, dude, this it makes them bigger, weird. stronger. Oh, it's it's a crazy lore. I'll have to yeah. I'll have to really sit you down and kind of tell you the lore. Yeah, yeah, I'll check that shit out. And you know, and there and there was a point where they got in a huge civil war and split in half. So, but of course, so so out of the original twenty, there's only nine on each side because the other two just kind of fucked off somewhere. We don't know. What they happened fucked to off to Disneyland for three days, <laughs> essentially. So yeah, so but one of the one of the loyalist chapters, as they're called, it's called the Iron Hands. Okay, their yep. primarch was a man who, when he was young, he uh, now they were always called the higher hands before the primarch even got to them. Right. He uh, he had to like save some people or something from this weird like iron or like silver or something like that, and he like put uh, he like put his hands into molten silver, and now his arms are all covered in iron. So he has iron hands. Oh my god. His name is Ferris Manus. What the fuck? Ferris Man Oh my god. His name is you Iron Hands. Well just on Iron Hands at that point. Like, Iron oh, Hands. Seriously. The fuck. man with Iron Hands, leader of the Iron Hands. He didn't even fucking try. <laughs> they, did, they wow, somebody really was not being creative that day. That's I don't know. They might have thought they were clever. Put it in Latin. But, I mean, what? it's 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 all like that. Like like the leader of the group called the Blood Angels. Yeah. His name is Sanguinius. Okay, well that means nothing to me. Sanguine sanguine is uh, blood. Oh, is that what that word means? Sanguine oh, uh, when you're sanguine. Ah, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that um, makes way more sense to me. Then. Here we go. The leader of the uh, Raven Guard is a guy named Corvus Corax. Corvus Corax is the That's is the, the Latin name for it, right? The scientific name for the raven. That is the scientific name for a raven. Yeah, Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I mean, some of those are really not bad, though. Like, yeah, I, I some would, of them are down too with bad. the character name that. Yeah, but, Corvus Corax. He's super emo, so yeah. So, so the one thing I give them credit for though is they didn't just name him Iron Hands. They didn't just name. They, they are like at least tried to Iron Hand of the Iron Hands. Yeah, literally yeah. just called this guy Die Hard Man. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I was gonna say, but it, at least like it's so on the nose. But I don't know what if Die Hard Man does he die hard. Don't, or, that's the thing. There's no, there's no connection. It's he's just, just a big so fan far. movie series. Don't yeah. worry about it. I mean, maybe, maybe because he's like the the president's like aide or whatever. That I guess it would make sense to have someone that it's hard to die. I don't. I, either way, like it's just it, it it's weird. It's fucking weird. That's I mean, about it's a fucking stupid name. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I'd say that's probably my biggest complaint about the game overall. I, that would but, definitely be my biggest complaint. I, I don't know that I would be able to just continue with the story after I saw that. Nah, okay. it's fine. It's worth it. it, okay. it, it, it it's very intriguing. But, like, also compared to JoJo's names. Yeah, but those are band names. Yeah, they're those... band names, but the do the bands have anything to do with the, 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 the characters? I mean, that's a good point. Not usually. To, to, but yeah, I think that's a cute like like quirk about the series. It is a cute quirk. I feel like, like yeah. it's just disparaging from Sam and even Dead Man to Die Hard Man because that's already really close to Dead Man yeah. too. You've got a Dead Man now. You've got Die Hard Man. Yeah, but it could be just foreshadowing that one it, of them dies. Wonder it which also, one. yeah, really. It also makes a comment that it's all that starts in Japanese. Both of those. <laughs> So here's the thing with Kojima games. Oh god. I feel like 
I feel like he does his games in English. You think that yeah, makes sense? I, that's that's the feeling I'm getting from it. Because he casts like specifically, I mean, like Norman Reedus is Sam Porter Bridge, oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. same person. So I don't I don't see them redubbing him like doing Japanese and then redubbing his English. Like yeah, I feel I like know. he just English with Japanese subtitles. Yeah. I mean Kojima's a big movie fan. He's he's true. And Del Toro yeah. is, does everything in English too. Exactly. So that's that's what I at least from that game I get that feeling. Um but also that. English is not his first language, so there will always be a weird Which disconnect. is why I think you get this stuff like Die Hard Man. It's yeah. definitely yeah. like him that, it might sound if cool. You look at fun. a lot of the Japanese naming yeah. systems. I mean like even when it's like the original Japanese, a lot of that it's just straightforward it is they're very right yeah Japanese with it very like, on the nose like eddie said yeah <laughs> that is a very japanese thing to do yeah. so it's just it's just interesting seeing it in this context um especially because you compare it to his you know older series metal gear where yeah the names weren't the best but like there was some like semblance of coolness to it like psycho mantis is way cooler than die hard man like in name oh it's yeah way cooler name that's just my opinion, though. Yeah, I mean, it could be. That's illegal. everybody. I mean, I think that's one of the loudest arguments I've heard about the game, other than the age-old oh, walking simulator, which it's more than that. It it definitely can be a lot, but I don't know. I I like exploring in a game. Like, there should be more stuff happening. But it was his first outing as his own company, so that's why I'm like excited about two. Is I want to see how they fill that in and make it more full. <sighs> That's interesting. It's a cool game. I definitely recommend checking it out. The story is crazy. You can see a lot of, I think, what they were going to do with um, Silent Hills kind of brought into this new game here, which is why I wanted, I don't think Silent Hills will ever happen, ever, ever, ever. Oh, God, no. Because he brought so much of that in it. It's really cool because it, it, and you can see this in Metal Gear Solid 5 start to happen. And I guess it was in there earlier too. I haven't played through the main, the middle games yet. Um, but it's the very like this very horror aspect that just seeps in, and it's really fucking cool the way they do it. Like uh, you kind of saw like sort of some of it with the black water and like whales and shit and the like previews for the game. But I don't know. It's it's just really intriguing. I definitely recommend checking it out, especially with the director's cut version, because from what I'm hearing, they added some tools to make traveling even more enjoyable like quicker and more fun and less like a drag but i i enjoy it i love stumbling over shit <laughs> yeah i mean it it can when it doesn't completely break the game it it can make it kind of amusing like yeah the, and that's the thing is it's the it's really it doesn't look goofy like you know like in skyrim and stuff where you're like at a weird angle like it feels like the physics are really well thought out and executed that's a good thing i mean it is it's it's a third person game though isn't it so yeah yeah third person for so sure. they, you kind of get a, a different feel from a third person game yeah, no, I this would not work in first person. This game would it would be annoying as fuck in first person. I got to say that much because it's it's very much about reading your terrain as you're going and like being able to see what you're actively stepping on because you can step weird and start to kind of stumble one direction. You just got to quickly catch yourself, you know. And that's it's uh, some people a lot of people like think it's annoying and fucking hate it, but it's like it it really isn't that hard to wrap your mind around. Just hold L2 and R2 the whole time, and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's that's the other weird thing about this game. I feel like there's no fail state in it. Like, I don't think there's a game over system at all. So, like, you can't, like, run into the, the weird... the time thing, or whatever. Oh, the time fall? So... I fucked up bad in the time fall section and I they did a little cutscene that I'm like, oh, I'm fucking 100% dead. And then it gave me another way of getting out. And it was like, oh, okay, cool. So I don't know how deep that goes. If you can actually still fail. If there is a fail state, it's really hard to get to. So it's harder honestly, to get to the fail state than anything. Yeah, and I'm honestly, I appreciate that about the game. It doesn't make the game feel too easy in any way, shape, or form. But it's it does make it enjoyable. 
the challenge is more one of efficiency of like doing things yeah. well. Exactly. Between the stealth part going through the timefall sections and then the traversing part outside of that. Yeah, absolutely. That's it's it's about the efficiency of deliveries and such. Exactly. Mm. Which is cool. It's just very Japanese, but <laughs> <laughs> honestly like i'm i'm i picked it up for like 20 bucks i'm honest i I would have paid 60 bucks for this game knowing it was this i would honestly say i would do that personally i can understand why people would be divisive about it for sure it's definitely you got to be into it to be into it oh, yeah. but it's it's definitely worth a try at some point i got it physical i think yeah so i can always let you borrow it or something yeah, maybe yeah that's a huge thing these days yeah, yeah. I've been mostly buying digital anymore because yeah, then me and Adam can both play without me spending $120 on a game, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, the downside to that, though, is how games get fucking massive and storage doesn't go, ex- like, proportionately higher. <laughs> nope, you gotta yeah. delete everything, and, oh, I can only have, like, four or five games on here, and then I gotta delete something. Oh my god, my switch is the worst about that. I oh my god! I literally just like... I I just got Pokemon Shield, and it's like my entire switch is just uh, Smash Brothers, Three Houses, yeah. and Pokemon Shield. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I mean, it's like what 32 gig or 64 or something it's for like the switch. Nothing. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's that's the most embarrassing one all of all of them. What is the story? Yeah, I mean, like. In in this day and age, like anything under like at least five hundred gigs is just like yeah, it, that's it's a fucking weird. joke. Yeah, but the okay. part, part of the problem is is in the terabytes like standard for our for any console or computer. I don't, I mean anything else. If you're trying to play games, at least you know. Yeah. So, and that's the thing with PS Five is only eight hundred and twenty five gigabytes according to this of storage. Seriously? Because they're yeah, because they're using like NVMe fucking SSDs. So, you know the stick we got you for you yours. They're using that, so it's much more expensive to get bigger amounts. So, that's so funny. NVMe's right now are NVMe's are actually same price as regular SSDs for the like mm-hmm. same amount of yeah. But mm-hmm. I mean, it's still like this is the first time they've had any SSDs in a console. So yeah, sure. that's mm-hmm. where you're seeing the big difference. Yeah, I mean the, the price PS4 difference was, is in there. Yeah, yeah. The PS4 was 500 gig and one terabyte, where this is sh- just shy of a terabyte here. Yeah, to start. So, to start, yeah, it's, you're not getting more space than you did the previous generation, but the games are like twice as big in some aspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy fucking seven remake was already like almost a hundred gigs to start for PS4. I can't imagine what Integrate is. I mean, at least like they definitely are looking better, and that's oh not, yeah, like, no, it's it's definitely worth the extra space. I'm not I'm not complaining about that. It's, it's just, just like, to keep up with it. So it's much more. Why. You got to have like the external hard drives and stuff, Which just because like you know, can't even do with PS5 more. games. I'm Not pretty at sure all? is the deal. Yeah, Warner? it's only for PS4 because the speed required. I guess there. I there guess excuse. that makes sense. It's designed for the NVMe. Otherwise, they have to change settings or something. I imagine. I, I, I guess I can see that experience. Yeah. So because it definitely would take longer for it to read and write off a drive that's not. Hard attached. Yeah, especially yeah. not an NVMe attachment, and you're going oh, through yeah. USB. Guaranteed, that's going to be slower no matter what. <laughs> Do they have NVMe like externals? I, don't. I would imagine, like, if they did, they'd have to have it be like C to C or something, just to get even remotely close to those yeah, kind I don't, of speeds. I don't know, like what, what, like, uh, yeah, that's that's a really good question, Eddie. You're you're a computer guy. What's up? <laughs> Hmm. It's even Thunderbolt three fast enough to compare to just plugging it directly into your motherboard. That's, I mean, that's... <laughs> so Thunderbolt's going to be fast because they use that a lot for GPUs, and they'll yeah. use but fastest shit right now. Connector. So NVMe is going to be the fastest option, but it's possibly faster than SATA. So gotcha, USB C so. USB C is probably similar too, but I would say yeah. That so NVMe is going to be the fastest. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be faster than, say, having an external HDD and yeah. all that. Oh, God. But, but, like, it's still going to slow down from having the internal. That's why they're talking about letting you change like it's supposed to be. I know at least Xbox was really big. Like, yeah, you're going to. But I think they were doing proprietary with theirs or something. 
I'm not it's sure. Cool. I think they did, but like the last external they had was literally just a regular ass external hard drive. Yeah, it was just a Seagate but it was with like, an Xbox logo on it. <laughs> yeah, and it was like 50% more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. PS4 did that shit too, though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, really am. I mean, I can see it being like being very choosy about what's allowed to work because you know you want the performance to be up there. But at the same time, it's like there's a difference between like that and like what you were saying with like the Xbox One just literally just being a Seagate. Like that's just I could just buy a Seagate and not. Yeah, but that's the thing is a lot of consumers don't know that. That's why you'll see like Switch branded like chargers and stuff it's it, there's just so many like branded things and you see the brand oh i'm gonna buy that because that's the brand you don't realize oh it's it's you know worse like um people are like talking about buying i was talking about switch upgrading the capacity and all that and you can just buy a regular ssd card they're like no i'm gonna buy the switch one with the little mushroom on it because you know mario and it's like but it's like literally 10 bucks more for the same fucking thing with a little fucking mushroom you'll never see because it's inside your system what <laughs> It's God. it's that that whole mentality of just oh, I love this brand so I'm gonna give this brand my money. Yeah, yeah. brand loyalty and the consoles go have gone hand in hand for a lot of years though. Yeah, mm-hmm. consoles, PC. cars. There's a, there's a lot of brand loyalty, especially here in the U.S. Soda. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. God. Yeah, I mean we are a country built on brands, so. <laughs> God. Yeah. yeah, country is a brand. Yeah, the right person. Yeah. yeah. So, to my other topic. Oh boy. Um, I did mention already a little bit. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. I've been. I've decided to play through all the games after enjoying Death Stranding. I'm like, all right, I'll I'll go check out some more Kojima. I I, I I'll give it another shot. I just remember playing uh, Metal Gear Solid One on the PS One as a kid. And never getting past, like, the first five minutes for some reason. And now, like, I'm at the, like, final boss section, and I just can't beat the stupid fucking boss. It's the dumbest fucking boss. I fucking hate Metal Gear Rex. It's so fucking stupid. Oh, wow. This it, it brought me to thinking about, like, when, when was the last time you guys fought a boss that you actually enjoyed? I feel like bosses have almost never been any good. Other than maybe, like, it's some in JRPGs, some, but... Yeah, I, I all I can think of when it comes to bosses and not being able to beat them is I remember playing through Golden Sun back in the day and I got to the final boss and you get to a certain point where it's like, okay, you're locked on the roof. You can't fight anything. You can't beat this boss too bad. You have no way to grind. Oh, no. Damn, you were playing the remake of that too and they didn't like consider that That's oh I'm, i don't know if they did in the remake i i played the original back oh, you played in the, the day original on, oh i thought the, you got the remake. on the game boy okay. advanced i think was where it came out gotcha i mean i'm thinking about it because we were talking about valheim earlier that is a big factor of valheim is that each of those biomes has a little boss that that oh. was over it so and that's the key thing is you have to go and you have to you know collect a certain material in order to summon that boss and once oh. you summon that boss it gives you the ability to kind of move on tech up and do the other stuff um, oh so is there like things locked behind the bosses yeah there's like, some stuff there's some stuff locked behind the bosses like there's wow. a few materials that you you need like the material to to start mining is is you know because the first boss in there is a giant deer lightning deer he, lightning a nice. lightning deer yeah i promise he's really fun but like that's an enjoyable fight you know Monster. i've done it a few times like you can do it because you can repeat it too um and you know i've soloed him i fought him with like a group of two and three and it's fun honestly the boss fights are kind of fun i i i'm told that the combat is like it it I know everything gets compared to this, but it's a lot like the Souls games in in terms of not necessarily difficulty, not saying it's an easy game, but in terms of, you know, it's that common, that common 
third person, you know, dodge roll. Yeah, shoot. like real quick, that's people give so much shit for comparing things to Dark Souls, but let's be honest, Dark Souls changed the mechanics of so so much in gaming, especially it, third person action. Like everything is slightly inspired by that. That's how it, it is, works. It oh. is a ten pole gaming, and and I, I I would say you know it's like well it's the same thing. Like Devil May Cry was the same kind of. It yeah. Concept. Oh yeah. It wasn't you had all that action combo thing from yeah. them. And you yeah. can start going back to your third person Castlevania and you know, then you know the 3D it's Castlevania. That's how games fucking work, man. Yeah. Things come yeah. out and then they influence things that come out after it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, life. I agree. But it's very much like that, and it's it's fun. It's not you know, it's not difficult by anybody's re- I mean right. it could be a little tedious if you're not tacked teched up, but you could yeah. you could go and beat that boss the first Within thirty seconds of starting the game, you can beat that first boss. Walk up to him. Yeah, like okay, it's all right. Not difficult. Yeah, you're starting to convince me to get this fucking game. I've been putting it off for a while <laughs> purely because I like prefer like the first person survivals. But yeah, I I gotta dip my toe in on this. Yeah, it's too. it's it is a third person in terms of that third person, but you're not. The combat is a third person combat you know it's that yeah sort of it's a different style game entirely yeah, it's a different know. style of game entirely from yours yeah. you know it's not it yeah yes this is my group that i moved over from playing minecraft with but it's not minecraft oh, yeah <laughs> i get you i get you and it says everything that like the three main guys i play with you know we all have three different you know strengths like one guy is really good at boating exploring because you get boats you can drive big boats you know like up to like 10 people on a boat uh, as long uh, as it's not assassin's creed boat i'm good uh, it's not <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, not they're long ships because it's all you know viking based right. but then they're, they're oh, yeah, yeah, boats. So, you know he's very good at that going out exploring and finding stuff we got one guy who's fantastic at combat you know he's really good at you know getting in there and just up, I'm on tank and up, down, out of here. And, you know, he's really good at that. And, well, I'm good at building shit. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> Which and is, I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> that's kind of what we were, you know, going down our skill trees in Seven Days to Die, too, to kind of how have our strengths. So eventually yeah. you'll level up enough to be able to get everything in it, which is cool. I like when yeah. games let you do that. Instead of forcing you, oh, yeah, you got to specialize, so you got to do it this way, and then spend all your money on uh, fucking resetting your skill points when you make mistakes. Ha-ha. <laughs> Oh so. god. Yeah, I mean there's no, there's not like a skill tree like that in that game. Okay. You know, there's there's skills that you can level up from your use. It's right. yeah, you know, like you chop a bunch of trees, well you'll your wood cutting skills going to go up. Oh, you know? so the more you chop the the more efficient yeah. you get at it kind of thing. Yeah, you do slightly okay. because everything's got like a damage value. You're going to do slightly more damage with your with your axe when you're chopping the tree down. Yeah, yeah, there's just through that shit. Yeah. And then there's different weapon types and you get skills for using the weapon types and then different armors, different, you know, levels of all that stuff. So Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'll have to get in on that shit then. Yeah. 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 It's got a lot, a lot of, there's a there's depth there. There's a lot of depth there. It's also the weirdly somehow both the ugliest video game and the most beautiful video game at the same time. Yeah. It's isn't it? It reminds me of like vector, like art. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit, but like, like if you're standing like on the side of the ocean, just looking out, you're like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. But then you're like, yeah. but like you're like zoom in on your character, and you just like look at the fact that his beard is four four individual polygons. You're like, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like it reminds me of RuneScape. That's what it really reminds me of. Oh like god, early RuneScape. <laughs> well, it's more like wow. I would say closer to wow. World of Warcraft yeah, graphic level. In know. terms of like your character's graph, your character looks more like he's out of WoW, and then the uh, okay. Okay. then the world looks you know almost GTA level. <laughs> really? Okay, I've been seeing bad screenshots then. Something. Oh man, I don't know what you were looking at. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. there was RuneScape shots I thought was not. <laughs> Maybe. <I don't> know. <laughs> hey guys, I, I love this new game. It shows a RuneScape shot. What is that? Yeah, let me look this up real quick. Uh, in the meantime, Jeremy, you got any topics on your mind or anything? I had something earlier and then I forgot. Oh, uh, that sucks. <laughs> Should have wrote it down. Yeah, that's true. I did just kind of spring the podcast on you. Hey, you want to do it in an hour? Uh, <laughs> I'm good at that. Pretty much. Oh, yeah, that does look pretty good, though. Dang. 
Oh, I, yeah, I've got a, one for, oh, yeah, that looks way for you guys. Uh, remember, right? Did anybody play Psychonauts back in the day? No, but I've been watching, uh, I think, Donkey play uh, 2. That game looks fucking lit, bro. I did not realize Psychonauts 2 was coming. Yeah, it's, it's been the, talked it, about for forever. It's been like decades mm-hmm. since the yeah. first one. I'm pretty sure yeah. that the first one came out in like the early 2000s. Yeah, it's back really on the old. PS2. And then like just nothing for like two decades and they're just like, Okay, here you go. Yeah. No, have you um have you seen any like gameplay footage or anything from it? No, but I've been seeing the ad non stop. Yeah, it it looks really good, honestly. Like, um, it it reminds me a lot of like what I loved about games when I was younger. You know, the very unique world, unique things, and just it looks fun. That's the real key at the end. There, is it looks fun. I don't know. It looks cool. I I definitely want to check it out because I never played the first one. I had heard about it when they first started talking about making a sequel. I think I got to play a little bit of it. I don't think I got too far because it was one of those games where I think Reed bought it and then like he played it and I got to play while he was playing. Like if he wasn't playing, I'd jump on and then he beat it. He's like, okay, I'm going to go trade it in. I'm like, Mm, all right, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's how you get more games. That's kind of the downside to digital. You can't trade in a digital game. (coughs) Nope. As somebody who's never traded in a game once, I have no idea what to t- tell you guys. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I think I've traded in may- maybe maybe more recently I've traded in games, but not not even a lot of them, like one oh, or two just, tops. I've just bought a ridiculous amount of games that I ended up not liking or just never playing. Well, I mean, yeah, that's, like, it's I usually that. Like, like, if I'm never going to play the game again, yeah, fine. I'm fine with trading yeah. it in. That's usually, yeah. that's like, I think the only times I have is I was like, dude, this game's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm bad about, like, if I like a game series, I'll buy all the games. <laughs> and I'll buy the same games multiple times. Like, I've, I'm going to end up buying Kingdom Hearts for the PC. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I'm just not paying $60 a game f- if I can get all of it for 40 bucks on another system that I already own. But, you know, like, it just seems, like, ridiculous to me. To no, I that. get that. It, it's kind of ridiculous when, when they want to charge $60, and it's like, we, we maybe Bro. upgraded the, the graphics, but yeah. we haven't touched any, like, the gameplay mechanics. No, it's the same game for 25 PS2. years ago. Yeah, like... Um, just pay us again. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, not not a fan of that. If they come out saying like, "All right, for the whole collection, we'll we'll do like a hundred or something like that," like that's, I wouldn't pay it. I would wait till it goes down. But that I wouldn't have been angry about. Yeah, because I, I mean, mean you're talking yeah, especially if you're talking about Kingdom over. Hearts, where it's like one, two, three. You got all the the mobile games that they did, which is like at least. Oh, I think they're breaking it up by like the collections, like they did on the console releases. Oh, so it'd be like one point five, two point five, and three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're you buy two of those games, you're already well over it. It's. I mean, I. I don't know. I I think the other killer is it was fucking they put it on fucking Epic. I don't want I don't I don't like using Epic game stores. I, the the app sucks. It just sucks. It's that simple. I mean, it's no fucking you play or fucking whatever EA's bullshit was, but it still sucks. It's awful. Like everything should just be Steam. I mean, I get it. You don't want a monopoly blah blah blah. And Steam can be dicks. But, I mean, they've been doing it so long that it just fucking works. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's stable. It's got everything for the most part. Like, that's... It, it's it's not bad. It, it works. Yeah. And I don't have to have 15 different passwords and accounts and... Yeah, that, I, I mean, even if you make it the same account and password across the different fucking launchers, it's still, like, that's another thing I gotta open, and some of them take forever. And Yeah, and then it takes up space on the hard yeah. drive, and then you gotta update the launcher, then you can update the game, then you can play the game. Yeah. And Epic fucking, Epic sucks. They all suck. All of them suck, except Steam. Steam's alright. Steam, you're okay in my book. Fuck you, Epic. So, I mean, Epic spent all this money giving out free games, so that's cool. I appreciate that, but that's the only reason I use their launcher. Yeah. What can you I mean, do? you had me at free game. 
Yeah. Even if they're games that I'll probably never play, you know I'm adding that shit to my library. Yeah. It's easy. It's easy. Yeah, so uh cool. Anybody anybody got anything else or mm. no <laughs> game right now? I feel like there is a game that I'm forgetting about, but I can't think of anything that's like super I did want to mention, I did restart Metal Gear Solid 5 after getting super far in one. <laughs> yeah, I'm back at it. <laughs> but, um, Metal Gear Solid, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing lately is the Metal Gears. That's, that's been my focus. Um, it's, it's interesting to see the difference from one to five and to realize, like, because I never played far in one, I didn't realize how cinematic it was. Like... It's basically a movie with some gameplay in between. And, like, I love it. I love that. I absolutely adore it. It's great. It's well done. It's, like, Uncharted, but, like, interesting. <laughs> so, but the 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 opening to 5 is just incredible. Like, it is just... <sighs> but it's also, like, kind of, like, you can see him kind of fucking with you. Because, like, it's, it's like, uh, Death Stranding's, like, long slog. You, like, you're, like, craw- crawling along as fucking Snake for the first, like, ten minutes of the game. And it's fucking just, it's ridiculous. But it's so cool. It's such a cool opening. That's, that's what I want to see more, like, good openings for games. Stuff that, like, you, oh, this is going to get me hyped for the game. Not just, okay, a new game. Okay, here, this is how you play it. Go. Oh, okay. That's, that's, okay. Whatever. <laughs> So you want like trailers? Yeah, I want story. <laughs> I want story that's good, that's interesting, that's imp- compelling. I feel like like it's it's like the action intrigue of like Nolan. I feel like Kojima kind of captures that with his stuff nowadays. And I- I've talked about this before. We've we've always said Christopher Nolan and and Kojima both have the same thing going. They're not doing anything oh my god, insane, holy crap, break the entire world. But the whole world is so incredibly unoriginal right now. Yeah. That, that their the original, that, that even their, their slight changes and their cool, their, their, you know, adding something new and trying something new. Even it, it, it just comes across as so insane because we're so used to the same old crap the same all the time. Bullshit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Nolan is so rooted in reality with everything he does. But then he has that one little like sci-fi little tricky thing to it that you're like, wait, what? And it's just so well executed and fascinating. And same with Kojima. Now you can feel him going more and more that sci-fi way, like with Death Stranding. Because playing through Metal Gear is like it's yeah, it's got its stuff, you know, fucking Psycho Mantis and his stuff. And <laughs> but like it's still like very grounded. But then again, Death Stranding, you're literally in America, so. <laughs> That's a crazy thing. That's the other thing about that game too. Is like, it, it really, most of his games are very like surrounding like Americans are like the core group. You know, it's it's less like you know, a lot of like anime games and stuff. Like, oh yeah, we're Japanese in Japan. You know, and it's like we're Americans in America. Like, Speaking of America, I'm fucking scrolling through Steam, and there's apparently a game called Mister Trimp with two E's, and yes, it's exactly who you think it's about. Uh, okay. You're, it's like a you're jumping around trying to grab the gold through like a platformer, but then there's like it looks like there's weed, and it's, you're just jumping around like grabbing weed and gold and trying to make it through. I That's don't know. So... It's, I just okay. was like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, yeah, you gotta collect all the votes. I'm like, oh, okay. And so it definitely is that. Interesting. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Just it's there. Tell you where you bucks. buy it. You let me know what you think. Thirty bucks. That seems thirty expensive. fucking bucks. Hold on. I'm gonna look at that. Look at that. Well, I guess that's. Like, we can wrap it up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's a good little spot. We're right here, about the right time to end, anyway. So yeah, you're good. We cool. did it. We Yay. did do it. In fact. <laughs>